Right, morning everyone. So this is the visualizer presentation. I think the first thing is just to say that this is the visualizer. Because I've been asking people in the last few weeks and a lot of people don't know what it looks like. So this is it. But this is like the Rolls-Royce of visualizers that we have here in, in B9. Uh, this apparently is like your bog standard version, which is about 70, 70 pounds. You put the image here and um, you know, it projects it onto the screen, it's just a plug-in. And then we've got another one in our department, which is sort of the mid-range one. The good thing about this one is that you can just change from visualizer mode back to your, back to the computer as easily, as easily as that. And you can go to your PowerPoint presentation, yeah? So um, what, what I've said, I mean, you know, I think a lot of it is obvious, is that you can save, my big thing is you can save paper, because sometimes they turn up and they've forgotten a book or they've forgotten a sheet, so all you need to do is put that, put that underneath the visualizer, we'll look at that in a minute. So, you know, if you turn, suddenly turn up and there's a queue at the photocopying room, all you have to do is, you know, you've got your master copy, and, and you can use that. Um, you, can, you can zoom in, actually let's do that now. So I'll go back to the, back to the visualizer. So I don't know, starter activity. You might want to find Wally. Mm -hmm. this, is a, this is an interesting one. So you've got, you've got the faces, I'm gonna zoom out. You've got the faces around the frame, and then you need to try and match the, frame, the faces around the frame to uh, a face in the, in the picture. So you might ask students, I know, to identify something, and then they can come up and actually point out where it is. So, I don't know, can anyone, can anyone see anything? Can you match a face? This is like the all the way projector we need to have. It is, it's but you don't version. need to use mm -hmm. uh, a transparency. Okay. You can put anything. A paper. You can put yes, a piece of paper, yes. you know, as I've just done, you can put anything, really anything underneath it. I think the word one is a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, the page is a bit big, perhaps. That's that. I think that's maybe a disadvantage. But, you know, you can put, sometimes if someone's got Still very small work. handwriting, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but you want to show an example of mm -hmm. someone's work, mm -hmm. Um, you know, a paragraph they've written or something, you want to share it with the rest of the class. I mean, everyone mm -hmm. always complained about new handwriting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can zoom in, yeah. and it makes it a lot clearer. Yeah, yeah and it doesn't lose the resolution, it's quite good. Yeah, yeah. and you can, you know, you can, you can actually underline things, mm -hmm. annotate, and often when, you know, you've got lots of sheets, you don't need to photocopy, and you don't need an individual mm -hmm. copy for each student, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like, um, like an exemplar script or maybe um, a mark scheme, mm -hmm. you know, you can highlight it and you, it's not available online. Again, it's just something that you can do very simply with the visualizer, like that. And you can write things as you go along. Yeah? So, um, so I, 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 I like it, I like it for those reasons. So we're going to try the kettles here. We're going to try a little, a little activity. I mean, in, Karen says to me that in, um, in science, thank you very much, they do dissections. They do dissections because they can't all, we're not going to do a dissection. We can't, they can't all crowd around the table. So she does it under the visualizer. So I've got these flowering teas. But I think I've had for God knows how many years. <laughs> they must have expired. <laughs> so I'm going to put it here. Right, do that way up. <laughs> Let's see if we can watch it bloom. Please let it bloom. Come back to it. <laughs> I'm going to put it to one side. I'm still going to get you to do something, some origami. So if you're doing some close work in a practical, in a practical lesson, and 
again, you can't fit all the students around the desk. You may want to demonstrate something to there under the visualizer. So here, here is the finished, the finished object, all right? A box of some sort. So if you're a mathematician, you may want to use a maths paper. If you're uh, for the English department, you may want to have something with Jane Austen in there. Okay, with anyone else, that's what you do. Right, let's let's do this. So I'm going to put all my paper. There. Where's my pile of paper? So here it is. It's all recycled re recycled paper. So we're going to fold it. It's like that. Let's go out a bit. We're going to fold it this way first. Uh, so, we'll go back to the T, not much happening there. Finally, I just want to say, I found this, um, I, I went to British Library and I looked up, I thought it'd be nice to have, um, have something about a visualiser, and I discovered um, a piece of work from John Keats, because he wrote many odes. He wrote an ode to a Grecian urn, he wrote an ode to a rose, would you believe it? He wrote an ode to a visualizer. <laughs> so here it is. Um, I had um, I had to read it myself. I couldn't find a YouTube clip, um, but here it is. <laughs> ode to a visualizer by John Keats. My heart aches from pains of photocopying. My sense, as though of toper I had drunk, or emptied some dull carbon to the drains of my pedagogic excesses at three minutes past nine. Oh, I missed assembly, as neath a pile of photocopying I was sunk. Oh, for a visualizer in my midst, or in my classroom, wired in the corner in some discreet manner ready for use. Oh, to flick the switch where whiteboard transformed to some other purpose, some other device. Is it a vision or a waking dream? Away, away, for I will use thee, visualizer, not charited by projector, but by that cyclops of the viewing lens. No need for photocopying reams of leaf and piles of book that do the very forest deplete. A simple act to place the object beneath thine eye, O oh visualizer, for all to share. Tis not a vision, tis a visualizer. <laughs> Let's have our plenary then. Why is it a good idea to use a visualizer? It's, I think it's, a, it's really helpful and the um, advantages of the uh, saving paper. Saving and all paper? That. It's really for showing if you want to do what is good about a piece of work to students. It's fantastic. To share work? To share. Yeah, I think it's a very good thing to, to see. To see yeah. and, and maybe to, to focus. Yeah. To, you, know, to mm -hmm. you, you can focus mm -hmm. in on detail. Um, a piece of work that's just been done that you can share immediately. Show immediately, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Anything else? To focus on fine work, so um, you know, components or really small details. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have we said it all? Is it another tool? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's it's quite spontaneous. It's very easy to set up. Mm -hmm. Very quick. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Is it very expensive? Mm -hmm. I think yeah. this one is 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 up to almost five hundred pounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I'm one. Gonna, this one is uh, uh, eighty. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's another one that's sort of mid-range, 200 to 300 pounds. So, right. can I ask a question? Yeah, yes, you may. Yeah, I'm going you to know it's there. Yeah. How can you can see from there? What did you do? Because it's wired in. Ah, no, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. It's magic. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a projector. Yeah. Thank you so much, Miss. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.